Bracket the Yahweh, Bracket the Yahweh Shai, all praises and glory be into Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be into the hopeful elect, Yuakim and Fiyakwathim, that believe in Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai with their whole heart, mind, body, and spirit. And who are diligently waiting for these last and final prophecies to unfold and happen in the earth and the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. It's January 28th, 2022, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up. And you know, that system that we're waiting on Esau Edom to implement is already here. And we're just waiting for them to issue the decree you know to force everyone to be on the system you know because that's what they have to do that's what they're set up to do that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has put within prophecy for them to do they're gonna implement a system to where unless you accept this system and receive their carnal mark, which will be a digital mark, a digital all that they implant inside of you, a karagma. You will be ousted from society. You won't be allowed to partake within society. You won't be able to buy. You won't be able to sell. You won't be able to do anything within their system unless you have their MOTB. And that's the inspiration behind this video. There is an article from RT which reads uh, digital. And then there's two words. All right, one is I, one is D. Could easily turn into a dystopian social credit system. So this is the title of the article that they put on RT. Now reading, it says the idea of a digital identity and wallet for citizens residing within Europe, European Union may date back to 2020. But the gimmick era restrictions have shown the extent to which governments can shut off access to everyday life. Should they so choose and with every change in criteria, that can be difficult to appeal when something goes wrong. And what does it mean to uh, appeal? All right. Now, the, the definition of appeal in the application to a higher court for a decision to be reversed. So when they roll out this, this system fully, all right, because they're setting certain things in place. All right, when they roll it out fully, there's no appealing, you know, th this. There's no making them go back on this decree. All right, the scripture speaks about uh, uh, the beast that came up, that spoke as a lamb, but will speak as a dragon. All right, that was as a lamb, but will speak as a dragon. So they're getting ready to come with more draconian measures. And those draconian measures are known as the Hegelian dialectic. All right. Pressure from above and pressure from below. They're tightening the screws. Let's say, for instance, you're putting together a table or some chairs. And initially. The, the legs of the table or chairs has wiggle room. All right, they, they wiggle all over the place. But once you tighten those screws, it's hard for them to maneuver, to move around, to wiggle. And that's what Esau is doing unto the masses of people all over the world by way of tightening the screws. So with this pressure that they're putting on people, all right, they, they basically want you to willingly accept their decree that they're getting ready to come with 
Now, reading on, it says that's a frightening prospect when considering how much of one's life the supranational European government wants to connect to a new system, a new system, a new system that is set to roll out. Now, initially, all right, they're going to start with uh, barcodes or, 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 or QR codes. That's what they're called now. They're called QR codes on your phone and QR codes are a machine readable code consisting of an array of black and white squares typically used for storing URLs or other information for reading by the camera or on a smartphone so I was hoping that they'll mention exactly what a you know what QR means. But anyways, they didn't. Nonetheless, all right, quick response. All right, that's what it's called, a quick response code. That same information from the QR code they're going to put inside of you if you accept their device to be a part of their new system that information on the qr code will be inside the digital all in the karagma and the time is coming that if you don't accept that digital all of that karagma you will be ousted from society and that's what they're showing you through this system that they have rolled out beginning in 2020. Now reading on, it says already anyone uh, here in France who has logged into the, the government services website to retrieve their uh, mandate, you know, QR code has noticed how that account is already linked with all sorts of data unrelated to health one can log in using a tax account number that's normally reserved for accessing your taxes uh, your tax returns and assessments or with a government approved facial recognition application that associates your face with your pre-existing national id but what if there's a glitch or a bug or someone steals your ID, which they're leaving gray areas for this to happen so that they can roll out the next thing. All right, they can say that it's, it's not safe. They can say that there's too many, uh, um, there's too many things that can go wrong, such as someone stealing your ID, uh, there's a glitch in the system now, we've already seen during the gimmick what can happen when the when the government system gets overwhelmed by a prolonged weekend rush to validate and download QR codes. And those with book flights are forced to cancel or postpone their plans because they lack a scannable form of the past. Speaking of which. How about the poor folks, those uh, whose smartphone simply malfunctions or runs out of battery juice at the moment of boarding or venue access? Now imagine if such QR code digital ID system is expanded as the EU plans to do to include access to university applications, hotel check-ins, car rentals, bank accounts, opening and, and, ac and access uh, public services or bank loans applications while many of these already have digital components they're they're piecemeal all right which um bear with me baba kasha all right piecemeal means characterized by unsystematic partial measures taking over a period of time all right in an unsystematic way through partial measures taken over a period of time you know which means in a, in, a, in a way 
they're they're decentralized as as they use i'm using the word that they use they're not all linked to one single system all right they're all linked to their own system but what about when everything is linked in together into one system so reading on it says and not linked to a single government run entity when uh, factoring in that cybersecurity researchers have reported that 89% of EU government websites employ trackers meant to associate web activity with identities of real people. It's not a stretch to imagine how your online activity profile could be used in addition to your uh, financial documents to approve or deny your bank loan applications from your digital ID, you know? Now, the new system that they're rolling out, all right, is, is a, a digital identity system. And it's going to go from being, you know, um, a, a QR code that's read on your phone to something that Esau wants to put inside of you. And although this article highlights uh, Europe, you know, or the European Union, it's going to be a system that is rolled out all over the world. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall keep, uh, which shall come upon you, Salakia. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this hour of temptation, this MOTB, all right, this MOTB system is going to be rolled out all throughout the world. Now the way that it will work is people will receive the digital awe or the karagma. And once you receive that karagma, it will have all of your information on it. And it will allow you to buy and sell with it. It will allow you to access universities. It will allow you to access venues. It will allow you to access, you know, public uh, services. It will allow you to open and close things. It will allow you to start your car. It will allow you to enter your home. It will allow you to access your money in the bank. All right. This is what they're setting up, you know, right before your very eyes and gradually, all right, they're getting you used to using this particular system. What does the word gradually mean? In a gradual way, slowly, by degrees. So there's a, a, a word called gradualism. This is what Esau used. So through different steps, he's getting people used to scanning in order to access something. All right. But now that scan isn't going to be something that you do with your phone. All right. Because not only did it mention scanning venues, but it also mentioned a wallet. So there's a such thing as a digital wallet. And, and um, I believe that was 2020. You know, uh, the American government uh, signed a law that would give every citizen within the United States a digital wallet. And if I'm not mistaken, you can look it up. But when you read Revelation 13 and 16, it mentions the word mark. So he's trying to give you a mark. That mark is a karagma. The karagma is a device that they're going to put inside of you. All right. As a badge of servitude. All right, for recognition of ownership. Now, how are they going to put that karagma in you? Through the karax, which is a sharp, pointy object that they use to put the karagma inside of you. Now, inside of that karagma, you have information written on it that they'll be able to scan the same way that they're able to scan a QR code. So the word grapho, which is the root word of karax, means to write with reference to the form of the letters. So within that karagma, all right, there's information written within it that allows them to uh, uh, 
read it with their scanners and bring up information about you on their system. All right, this is all a play to get this particular thing in motion. Now, unless you have that karagma, guess what? It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that's what they're getting you used to within this, this system that they have set up. All right, they're getting you used to not being able to, you know, buy or sell or to have access, all right, to things that you would normally have access to unless you comply with their way. Now, Esau is putting out this decree. When you go into the book of Daniels, all right, the third chapter, Daniel's the third chapter and the 10th verse. It says, Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackboat, the psaltery, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. When you go into this word for decree, all right, that word for decree. Not only also is, uh, is it also dealing with, you know, a commandment, you know, or, or um, like a law that's put out. It also means to taste. All right. So the word for decree is to I'm and it says decree, judgment, command, all right, discretion, report, command. But it also means to taste. Now, Esau is putting out a decree. All right, for people to worship what is known as the image of the beast. All right, the image of the beast. And what is the image of the beast? The image of the beast is his NWO system. All right, which is based upon all right, that, that, that system of government within ancient Rome. All right, and it speaks through their Congress. It speaks through their Senate. All right, in which they put forth, you know, certain decrees and certain laws for you to keep and by you uh, uh, acknowledging and agreeing to keep them are uh, your tasting of their decree. All right, which puts you in mind of the book of Second Ezra, all right, the, uh, the 16th chapter and going down to the 69th verse, which reads, and really beginning at the, the 68th verse, for behold, the burning wrath of, of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And that thing, that cursed thing, which is offered into an idol would be the MOTB. All right. And people are going to eat of that decree. They're going to taste of that and they're going to physically consume all right, into their flesh. All right, uh, uh, Esau's physical mark. And I consume in a sense of taking it through your mouth, you know, and swallowing it like a pill. All right, but you're going to take it into your flesh. All right, or you're going to take it into your head. All right, those of you that are unfaithful. All right, that are that are not a part of the elect because the elect are going to are not going to all right, accept Esau's decree. All right, no matter what they go through. And they that consent unto them shall be head in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, because you're going to think that you're, you're uh, uh, by you are right, accepting all right, their decree and their physical mark. You're going to think that you're able to escape all right, the, 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 the penalty of, of, of judgment that will come down from them. Are right, you going to think that you're going to escape the famine? Are right, you going to think that your life is going to return back to normal until your ass is head in derision and reproach and they still trample your ass? Because at the end of the day, Esau only wants a particular amount of people within his NWO. So you're thinking that. All right, you can uh, 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 bow down and worship their image. 
and you're thinking that you can receive their carnal mark, and by that you're you're you good, you're in the clear. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, but uh, certain men that denounces all right this 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 devil's uh, uh, system, all right, in his MOTB, his his carnal mark, all right, some of them are gonna have to suffer, all right, unto death. But they are going to live again and reign with Yahweh, according to Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and for the word of Yahweh, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh a thousand years. All right, but Yahweh Shai also said this, that you have some all right, that shall not taste death until they, they, they are in the kingdom. The book of Luke 9 and 27. But I tell you of a truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of Yahweh. So you're going to have some Israelites that don't die. All right, and, and Yahweh Shai is going to come and redeem them. But those that do die, they're going to be the first ones on the ships with Yahweh Shai when he returns. All right, just to add comfort, all right, within this thing, you know, because, you know, uh, uh, we are in the victory mind state. All right, and we believe that through our faith in Yahweh, all right, and keeping the word of his patience, all right, no matter what we suffer, that we're going to get the victory over Esau, Edom, his carnal mark, and the image of the beast. The book of Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of Yahweh and the faith in Yahweh Shai. Now, one of my favorite words to go into is the word for patience, which the word patience means to suffer. Now, in the Greek, it says, in the New Testament, characterized of a man who was not swerved from his deliberate purpose, and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials of suffering. See, we'll be able to deal with being shut out from the system. All right, shut out from Esau's way of life. All right, because we understand and we have this confidence that Yahweh Bar Shem will keep us as long as we stay true to his word. All right, see, uh, uh, the scripture says this. You know, when you go into the book of Job, the fifth chapter and the 20th verse, it says in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine. Thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Do you know what kind of mind state that you have to be in? All right, that when famine is going on around you, all right, to laugh. Because ultimately famine is going to be going on. And famine does not mean, all right, that there's no food upon the whole earth. All right, it, there's, it just means that there's not going to be food within certain parts. And an example of that is in the book of Amos 4 and 7. And also I have withholding the rain from you when there were th uh, yet three months to the harvest and I caused the rain, caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon in the, in, in the piece whereupon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were, they were not satisfied, yet have ye not returned unto me, except Yahweh. All right, so that proves that there can be a famine in one place and not a famine within another. All right, because that's a, a, um, a, a thought or idea that some people have to justify that the MOTB, which is a physical mark that Esau wants to put inside of you, is not the MOTB. Because they think that according to the book of 2nd Ezra 6 and 22, 
and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown and the four storehouses shall suddenly be found empty they thinking that there won't be any buying or selling that's going on yes yeah, some people are going to be catching hell but then some people aren't all right those that take the MOTB will be able to buy and sell according to what is said within the book of Revelation now another scripture that proves that there'll be buying and selling going on is the book of Luke the 17th chapter and going down to the 26th verse and as it was in the days of Noah so shall it also be in the days of the son of man they did eat they drank they married wives they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all see within Yahweh Shai's return people are going to be eating they're going to be drinking and people are still going to be getting married all right and, and, and they're going to uh, um, marry wives and they're going to be given into marriage all right but then the elect are going to enter into those arcs which are the chariots likewise also as it was in the days of lot they did eat they drank they bought they sold they planted they built it but the same day that lot went out of sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all so yahweh shai said that when he come uh, uh, uh back that they're going to be buying all right they're going to be selling and just in case that's not enough hey, the word for bought is um a gorazo and it says to be in the marketplace to attend to do business there to buy or sell of of idle people to hunt the marketplace lounge there and the word for sell let's grab that as well the or sold the word there is is poleo and it says to barter to sell sellers all right so there will be buying and selling that's going on for people that have the MOTB but for the people that don't have it they'll be ousted from society they won't be able to buy or sell you know they'll be the people like how within this 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 uh, article you know it mentioned you know that that um that people couldn't catch flights you know they were forced to cancel or propose their plans you know, because they didn't have a scannable form of the past that they needed. All right. Uh, um, it mentioned that, you know, a particular code will be used to access university applications, hotel check-ins, car rentals, bank accounts, uh, uh, opening and access, public services, uh, bank loans. You won't be able to get none of that. All right, when you hungry and you and you used to going to the grocery store, you can't do that no more. All right, uh, certain things you can be shut out from. And you're noticing this all over. In Canada, guess what? You can't even go to Walmart. All right, unless you have that thing, you can't even uh, drive a truck. You you've been you got a career driving trucks, you know, semi trucks, you can't even do that. You know, unless you got that Vicky and it's not just having the Vicky, it's also having proof of having it. And the reason that they're doing it is that is they're getting you used to one thing, getting, you know, uh, uh, hit with something sharp, you know, and then also needing, you know, uh, uh, something to prove that you're a part of their system because eventually they're going to give people the digital all in the Karagma. And having that is going to be, be the proof that you're a part of their system. And if you don't have it, you're not going to be able to be a part of their system. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises entering glory be into Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be into the hopeful elect. A shalom and a